Hello, dear ladies. My name is Jack. Up again. Oh, shh. Billy and Steve are sleeping. You guys okay? Shh. Shh. What? <laughs> okay, so Betty, Betty is in the thing oh, reading. Yes. <laughs> what are you saying to me? I don't care. Just read your damn book. She's finished. She read like Superman. You are amazing. Also, her name is Betty. The daughter's name is Bitty. People kept saying like, Jack, did you not realize you called them the same thing? They're not. They're different. Okay? I did name them differently because she was supposed to be an itty bitty M McBoss or a little itty bitty B Betty. Like a little tiny version of her. So that's why I called her Bitty. And Steve and then Betty like normal like everything that I called Betty. Look at that walk. You are proud, mama. Can you clean this? Betty is tense because she didn't understand the book she was reading. That's why she gave up. She didn't finish reading it. She's just a stupid who doesn't know what it meant. So I have to try and calm her down in the mirror. No, no. Try to calm down. You're not going to bed. Stop trying to go to bed. Where are you? Betty? Ah, there you are. Okay, try to calm yourself down in the mirror. <gasps> What's yelling at yourself going to do? Calm oh, voice. Pardue. Indoor Pardue. voice. <laughs> she did it at the same time. <laughs> uh oh, Betty's up. Another thing I have to clarify, which I didn't think I should have to, was that a lot of people thought that I thought Bitty was fat and that it was like an unreasonable expectation for a woman or something like that because she, I said like she had a big ass or something. It was just a joke and it was just because she was bigger than what she started out as. When she was a little child, she was really thin and then she got bigger and I didn't want her to change away from that. Not because... I think fat is bad, or getting bigger is bad, just because I wanted my sims not to change, it was kind of reflecting on me not keeping up with their needs. It had nothing got to do with my, like, visions or expectations of what women or bo human body shapes should be, so please forgive me if any of you thought that way. So having said that, Bitty is going to work out endurance run. For sims looking for a longer workout, yeah, we'll go for an endurance run. Climb those hills! You've only been on in two seconds and you're sweating already! Good God, don't fall down! Do you not know how to run? Also, when she, as soon as she got onto it, she started laughing. As if to say, ha ha ha, this is not gonna work out! For Betty's future, we are, she does have a job now, so she's gonna go to the job for a while, but we're gonna find her a partner. We're gonna find her a husband or a boyfriend that she can fall in love with, and then... I don't know how it's gonna happen, I don't really know how it works, but hopefully make them move in together. And then we can try for another child with Betty and Steve, and maybe try for a little Billy, and make him a proper Billy. Not a little annoying shit. So that's my plans. And we're still gonna go into space, until we come back with something cool. And someone reminded me I have to change Betty's room, because she's not a child anymore. She's an adult lady woman. This strong, powerful, good-looking woman at that. Stop falling! Who listens to soft classical music while working out? Here we go! This is workout music. Steve, what are you up to? Don't talk to her while she's working out. Don't talk to her about cupcakes while she's working out. She's gonna wanna eat cupcakes. That's what she's saying, you're two-faced. One minute you're telling her to work out, the next minute you're offering her cake. Offering her food. What a tease. Oh! Steve, pump those guns. Pump those Get guns! Show us all what Stop you're it. worth! Show Stop us it. that manliness! Cobbler. Stop talking! Stop. Are you gonna work out in the machine or are you just gonna sit down and talk to Pity? Huh. Oh, one! Six! <laughs> Seventy! What's wrong? Well. You don't look happy. Pity, stop falling over! Steve, that's a good workout. Look at the chest on Steve. He might as well have two sandbags resting underneath his skin. I've heard that's what boobs feel like. That's what everyone says anyway. Bust those guns! Have you ever done- No, <laughs> relax, that's a bit too much for you now, okay? Just relax, go read a book. Steve has reached fitness level three. Look at those dance moves. That's what I call the point to the floor move. That's so good. Okay, can you go read a book? I told you to read a book ages ago. You need to upgrade your rocket science because I can't upgrade my ships anymore. I can upgrade maybe Betty's ship as her because she's not as f far on and she doesn't have as much done to the ship. But Steve can't upgrade anymore to his ship because he doesn't have the rocket science skill. That's the big ass book. Betty! <laughs> you're like 20 something. Keep can you stop playing in the bath? So. Do you need a little rubber ducky? <laughs> Actually, if I had a bath right now, I'd be playing in it. I'd just be kicking my feet all over the place. <laughs> but then again, I'm a big immature idiot. 
You're supposed to be sophisticated. <laughs> right, so we go into build mode for a second. We gotta put in objects by room. Uh, living room. One of these. We're gonna put like a sound system in here. I think I did have one, but I took it out because I needed room for the party. We're gonna put that one there. That's gonna be good. And we gotta change around Bitty's room. Take away the books. Take away the school bag. Freddy! This is how you get rid of Freddy in Five Nights at Freddy's. You don't just tell him to shoo or bug off or put on a mask. You just pick them up and you sell them. Because they're just animatronics. They're not actual living beings. Just sell the fuckers. Buy new ones. Why does anyone in Five Nights at Freddy's think of that? Why does anybody work in that place? This place is a death trap. We gotta get rid of all your toys. Alright, so we got we changed the room around. The bed is over here now, so you can just go in and sleep there. It gives it a bit more room. Just opens up the space a lot more. When you when you have a small room, you gotta work with the space that you have. That's interior decorating 101. Jack's very good at it. Uh we need a computer chair. Why don't you go into the table like you're supposed to? Because you don't go with that table, do you? The ghostwriter disappearing desktop. It's unbreakable, apparently. This powerful computer is so slim and light, you almost don't know it's there. I can see it, though. It's perfect, and it's ghastly looking. Why has it got, like, a weird orange keyboard? Who cares? Screw it. It's done. We're all gonna be about learning in this house. Why can't I put a bookshelf anywhere? Because knowledge is power. Okay, so put the bookshelf there. Nice! That's good, right? I got a little table here, a little dresser there. I put the mirror over here. I think that's good! It's a nice change in the room. Wow. Relax! Wow, no bath ever is that good. But wouldn't it be weird if you're in Simland, and you're just like sitting down all of a sudden like time jumped a beat, and all of a sudden your whole room was different? That's what they must feel like. All of a sudden I go into like pause mode, and then come back out and everything has changed. Sometimes even you guys. Avery Fox does. Avery Fox! <laughs> oh, Steve! <laughs> Betty, enough with the sleepies. It's time to get up. And do something, because you're a bit of a stupid. You gotta go out and actually build your rocket. Oh god. Don't hold shift while using the camera, that's crazy. Uh, upgrade. See, she can upgrade stuff, still. Actually, you know what, Steve should go out and help her. Steve, uh, upgrade. Wait, wait till she starts, maybe it'll give me an option to help her. Because then the two of them banging hammers away, welding, sticking in nuts and bolts. It'll work faster. Don't you worry, Betty, baby! Steve's coming to help! Steve, turn off the radio before you leave. Stop being so ignorant. He's coming and he's going to help build this. So, we'll, we'll see how fast this goes up now. Oh, it's already going way faster. I love you guys. Steve reached level 7 of rocket science. Betty, you need to do some, like, major maintenance to catch up with Steve. That means Steve could actually expand this. Or up oh, good lord. No, he can't. Requires level 7 of rocket science skill. I have that. Stop it! Jesus, Steve! Look at you trying to cook. You may have your mother's face and your mother's hips, but you don't have her skills in the kitchen. That's one thing that I would have hoped that you brought along from her. And you dirty the floor. I love Betty. She's the best. Betty, I'll be back in a minute. Steve's a bit of a stinky bitch. He's got to go take a shower. You need a shower as well. No. No, not gonna happen. Good God, don't hold shift while using the camera, Jack. I told you. Could I put in a second shower? Could I change my bathroom around and put in a second shower? I don't think they'll take showers at the same time, will they? Mm, I could move the toilet. It's in a bit of a weird spot. Let's try. Where's Betty? Betty, my lovely darling. Go in and take a brisk shower. Can you? You're not gonna- Because you're married to Steve. I mean, you have seen his dong. A, you're like really up close. Like, you had a baby together. Surely you'd be able to have showers together. Does it matter? Steve's out. Could you shower with someone? that will be progression. Steve, you gotta go continue- No. No. No with the sleepies. Go continue e expanding this. Asher, sure, look at this. Ship's gonna be done in no time. We're gonna be up in space saying hello, Martians. I built this. Built this city on rock and roll. I like that song. Okay, somebody's- somebody's upset. Somebody's uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable because you have to pee. Okay, we won't do it. Work's just never done, is it, Betty? I mean, you're off one minute expanding rocket bay cargoes and rocket cargo bays. God damn it! And then the next minute you're cleaning up and mopping floors. It's such a juxtaposition, but you're hungry. You gotta cook. What should we cook for Betty? Not cake. She's had enough cake. Okay, chips and salsa, garden salad. Here we go, single serving. Because I often cook the garden salad. I don't know what it looks like. Look at the little cow and the milk in the fridge. 
That's so cute. Mother of God! Scuno. What the shit? Dupa Grick, Bruna Wargo. Do you see those sexy knife skills? Ah. It's because she's such a good cook now at this stage. She's just she's like fucking Deadpool. Look at this shit. <laughs> oh, if we ever get in a fight, I am so bringing you with us. She just take out a knife. She doesn't even have to stab anybody or cut anybody with it. She'll just show off her skills and they'll all run away. Look at this! Ow. <laughs> Ooh. She hit herself in the head with it. <laughs> you dumb, beautiful girl. Biddy, you need to pee. Get up. Go do it, please. Don't pee in the shower, though. That's bad. Who am I kidding? We all pee in the shower, right? <laughs> I pee in the shower. If I'm ever in the shower and I need to pee, why would I get out of the shower to go pee? You just pee in the shower and you can wash yourself afterwards. It's even cleaner than peeing outside the shower. We need to, uh, purchase some books for Bitty, because she's feeling focused, she's feeling energies. A Game of Groans. Ha, ah, clever by Greg QQ Varton, instead of George R. R. Martin. You're gonna get video gaming, trolling for noobs, the official guide to gaming, and game of life. And you're also get the, gonna get the programming stuff, because you're gonna make a game. Yeah, okay, read something. No, read, read, actually. Thanks for ordering books for Biddy. Yeah, you're you're welcome. Uh, Biddy, why are you reading? Are you reading Steve a bedtime story? Once upon a time, there was a little boss named Steve. He dreamt and he dreamt, but never could he leave. His mind and his brains were all in a shuffle. When he got up, he ate some truffles and lived happily ever after. The end. Ah, uh, slap. Ah, oh, my ears! Stop it! Ah. Hey! Hey, pretty mama, let me whisper in here. Look at that for a dress. She looks like a bit of a... She's a bit of a snob. Betty has to successfully enthuse three people about space. She didn't do that yet. You have a very deep voice. We are going to Saturn, apparently. Yeah, space! Everybody loves space. <laughs> Betty, you were just talking away to someone and then you fell asleep on a bench. <laughs> you, not only are you not homeless, but your house is literally across the street. Okay, Steve, what are you up to, buddy? You're doing on, you're gonna read a book. No, you're going to upgrade your ship. You still can't. Requires level seven of the rocket science skill. I have that. Oh, cause I was, I was on Betty, not on Steve. Okay, Steve, go fix stuff. Okay, and there's another person that. about space. Go you like door. telescopes, right? Yeah, they look in the sky! Yes! <laughs> yeah, I tell you, everybody <laughs> loves space! Just go up to anybody in the street and say, oh, hey, you like space? They'll say, yeah. Hey, you, out. lady, lady, stop! Primbo space, tube. sun, <laughs> stars, <laughs> black! <laughs> yes! She did it! Okay, I don't need you guys anymore. See you later! Good talk! How's she looking, buddy? Give me the sit rep! You've got the forward manifolds in place! The manifesto! Subtracto! Oh, very good. Steve's on the ball. Steve knows what's up. <coughs> <coughs> Look at the little bookworm family. Oh, and guy doing push-ups. Hey, dude. Look at them reading together. That book is floating in your hand. You're not even reading that. Look at the way she's looking at her mother as if to say, You come oh, over boy. into Fair my not. space <laughs> while I'm reading. Fuck off, mom. <laughs> Betty, your child is hungry. Go cook up a storm. I mean, I know she's older, but she sucks at cooking. You should have seen her. She can't do the sweet knife tricks you can. Stay there, Betty. Read. Steve, are you still building rockets? Steve is the man about town. Look at this. He's going to go up into space with a freaking X-Wing by the end of this. A mill Millennium Falcon. I wish the ships would change. Whoa. Jubao. Jubao. Yeah. I wonder, can you get different rockets? I think there were different rockets. That would be cool. Mom. Do do those sexy knife skills again. Show us all. Show us all the skills. Thanks. I'm really glad she listens to me. This family does not love each other. Mom cooked this dinner for us all to be together, and you're just sitting. You're, you're eating it in the kitchen, standing up. You're at the bar. You think this sweet, sexy music is bring us all together? But no, only Betty's having fun. Betty is focused. Try to hack something. Let's. Oh, look at this. Nice, happy family. Okay, Betty. Let's hack the Pentagon. Hack Lamacorn Lister. Let's hack a trust fund. Let's go steal all of that kid's money. <laughs> Is this what hacking looks like? Is this the hacking that I've heard so much about? It's oh, Bitty is 4chan. You remember 4chan hacked 
those celebrity phones. He's such a devil, that um. 4chan guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when that happened, the American news outlets were so stupid with it. Well, they were just the only ones I saw. Maybe other places were stupid as well. But they called 4chan a single guy. So funny. Oh, that dial-up, though. Are any of you old enough to remember dial-up? Like, so I know a lot of people who watch my videos are, like, younger, and they don't have a clue, like, what dial-up or anything is, but when you got onto the internet, for the very first time, you had to be, like, connected to the phone line, and you couldn't use the phone at the same time, or, so if you had to use the phone, you had to go off the internet, and when you clicked in that connection into your computer, that sound came up. <laughs> that sound. Ah, oh, it was horrible, and the internet was so slow! Are, are we hacking good? Did we hack the world? Did we- did we get what we needed? Fabulously wealthy! <laughs> I just stole a whole- I just stole $114 out of a trust fund from hacking. <laughs> I am the best! And Steve is done! Upgrade complete! Steve has finished his stock installing the rocket upgrade. I wish they actually changed. I mean, this has a lot more stuff than this one, but they look the exact same. Okay, Steve, you can go to the toilet now, or do whatever the hell you want. Betty has reached level 7 of the rocket science skill. Fucking A! Now Betty can actually- <laughs> Are you making the book talk? You've just reached level 7 of rocket science and she's going womp womp. Well I guess an immature sense of humor is, is good. I mean you can still be cool and be funny at the same time. Just look at me. No one ever agrees with me! So she's gonna upgrade her ship now. Look at that sexy walk. She's gonna upgrade, she's gonna have the exact same ship as Steve. I'm gonna try and keep them the same. So like, I'll double my impact- Stop that! I'll double my impact going into space, whenever anything happens. I don't even really need a cow plant anymore, I just like going to space in this game. It's given me something to do every episode, to go to space and see what I can get. Maybe Steve should go to space soon. Instead of making them go at the same time. Yeah, you know what, Steve? Get up, take a brisk shower, and head into space. Don't you just love the way you can head in space like it's going out to the shop? It's like, you know what? Yeah, I've about an hour to sleep. I'll get up. I'll, um... I'll get up, I'll have a shower, and then I'll go into space. <laughs> we bid you farewell, Enjoy spaceman! Goodbye! Betty, you didn't even say goodbye to him. You didn't even give him a kiss. Say, say bye! Say bye! See you later, Steve. I don't think Betty gives a shit. I can threaten an alien or reason with it. Steve is nearing the sun when he spies. I'm gonna reason with the alien, so hopefully he can bring one back. I don't think he can. But, I mean, I wanna, I wanna make, like, a trade route between them, kinda like Spore. It takes a while for Steve to get the alien's attention, but once he does, the alien is quite reasonable about things. Cause they all speak English, apparently. This seems to be his species version of golf. Claiming he didn't know it would mess up communication, he hands over his space rocks and goes on his way. Steve is coming home! Steve found a space rock! Steve, did you bring home a space rock? Smile! Aw, oh, that is so going up on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Pinterest, everything! Zest Johnny would like to come over and hang out, is that okay? Is he a good prospectable boyfriend for Bitty? We'll see. We'll get him to come over. He rang Bitty, so maybe he can come over and the two of them can get talking. We'll see. We'll put them side by side and see how their babies would look. Here he is. He's a bit too spiffy and douchebaggy looking for my liking. Oh. Oh, those look like good cookies. I think he did good. I think he did us all proud. Steve, bite into one and let's see how they are. Look at them. They look really damn tasty for pixels. Oh, he's already in the room and on the bed. Dizzy Bobna. This is going Brown well. Pittsburgh. I mean, it's it's a while before they'll be uh -huh. able to woohoo together. <laughs> yep. This is good. This is a good start. Really She's gonna ask him on a date. I don't know. Is this is this gonna go well? No. How dare you reject Bitty? That's it. That's it. Ask to leave. Ask to leave. Sim is already leaving. Does it fucking look like it? Stop talking to him. No. Don't acknowledge him anymore. He denied your love. See you later, douchebag. Never trust a guy who walks like that, looks like that, or has hair like that. Just no. Don't you be eyeing up my rockets. My rockets. My space. My space. <laughs> like mother, like daughter. She's just falling asleep on the bench as well. Okay. Can we make- are there same-sex relationships in this? Because I got rejected by the guy. I think Bitty might be better off with a woman. I think she might understand her a bit more. <laughs> I, I told her to go to bed and now she's doing sit-ups. Why? You need sleep, woman. She's feeling energized or something. Go for a jog from being energized. 
Okay, you could you could go jog on these, I guess. Energized workout, here we go. Screw the computer, no. Do not pull a jack sitting at the computer all day. I sit at my computer all day, every day. Seriously, you have no idea. You might think that YouTube is an easy job from time to time because it's just playing games all day. This takes a lot of work. I'm at my computer like 12 hours a day. I'm gonna have back problems, but it's fun. <laughs> Look at her go! She's like the Flash! Go, Betty! Go! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Did you fall off? <laughs> that was even funnier in fast motion. Go! Go, Betty, go! Go! <laughs> she did it again. Work for Bitty starts in about an hour, so Bitty's finally going to work for the first time. She's gotta go eat, though. Bitty, go have breakfast. You're gonna have eggs. Scramby eggs. I love me some scramby eggs. Can you cook them? Are you- are you, do you have the capacity to cook? I hope so. Steve's cooking right now, so you're gonna have to wait maybe a small bit. Bills have just been delivered to your mailbox. You owe four grand. God damn it, I keep forgetting to pay my bills. I paid him after I'm finished cooking, okay? Give me five fucking minutes. Aw, oh, no, Betty went to work hungry. Why don't you guys ever turn off these things? I mean, I know it's kind of up to me, but come on. I'm not a one-man army here. I kind of am. Shush. <laughs> So Biddy's off to work. I think once Betty is finished eating, she's gonna explore space. Cause she hasn't explored space this episode. And actually, Steve's good. Steve can go explore space as well. Space together! Space for everyone! You want some space? I'll give you some space. I, I'll, I'll go live with my mother for a while. <laughs> Steve, Mr. Spaceman, work for Betty starts in about an hour. No, nope, not now. Not today. Not today. It's goodbye. These are not the droids you were looking for. See ya, Steve! Uh, Betty, how are you getting along? Betty is not hungry anymore. She's gonna explore space. Bleep bleep, Steve's rocket ship has detected an unexpected object on the horizon. Attempt landing, damn it! I don't read all those things because it goes on for ages. An irate customer contacts Bitty, uh, calm customer down. You're good at that, you're a genius. Good god, there's so many messages coming in. Land near jungle, because the ruins can be bad. Actually, don't, don't repair, don't repair, don't repair, replace, replace! Little blue critters with teeth. It's a tight squeeze, but sees rocket ship lands without a scratch. He finds little aliens! Inject and preserve. Catch alive! Catch that damn alien! Hoping his allergies stay under control, Steve lunges into hissing mob and gropes about wildly. Pain shoots up his arm and his fingers close around a wriggling velvet, velvety beast. Success! He wrangles the animal into the ship and thrusts him into an iron cage. Steve's gonna bring home an alien! Betty, you better go off and fight an alien as well. Good lord, this shit is getting hot. Steve should be back now in a minute. Steve! S Steve, buddy? Steve's back! Where the alien? Where the alien at? That's all you're gonna do, you're gonna find an alien and then go off to work? I hope you bring the alien to work at least to show NASA, seeing as you are an astronaut. Show them what you found! WHAT THE SHIT?! NO! ARE YOU SERIOUS?! Just go to work. Just go to work. Get out of my fucking sight. I better not have to rebuild every single part of that. That spent like three episodes worth of work putting a rocket together and she just smacked straight into the ground with it. Oh, Kevin Lab does it for this episode of The Sims 4. I'm not happy, stupid rocket. That was like 15 grand's worth of work. Who's calling, please? Okay. Incoming call. Bella got, oh, whatever, you can come over and visit. I don't care, I'm ending this episode here. Hopefully next time when we come back, we can get Bitty a husband, wife, anything at all, as a partner, and hopefully we can build, rebuild this stupid rocket and everyone's gonna be happy and we can actually finally bring back an alien. Oh, it's you! Okay, well you guys can go off and do what you want. I'm gonna have some fun with this one, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, Punch the like button in the face like a boss and high fives all around. Whoosh, whoosh. But thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes. How hard is it to build a rocket? I mean, it's not rocket science. <laughs> ah, you knew that joke was coming. I had to do it. Right into nighttime, right into the dark. 11 p.m. and they're still building rockets. Oh, so much work, so much time and effort. I knew I should have only, like, put the two of them on one ship.